Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining a problem on SFE. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question in front of us. Whatever is given here, I will write that in the form of data first. It is given a feed water heater of mixing type operate under steady flow condition. So, once they have given steady flow condition, it means the problem belongs to open system. As the problem belongs to open system, we can apply SFE over here. So, it is based upon the steady flow energy equation and the type of device which they have given, it is a feed water heater. which is of direct mixing type and what is this feed water heater I will be explaining in the further part of the problem then cold water is supplied at 10 kg per second so the mass flow rate of cold water is given the mass flow rate of cold water and Specific enthalpy of the cold water is given as 160 kilojoule per kg. So, specific enthalpy is denoted by H. I'll say it is H1. Then, steam is supplied at 0 0.8 kg per second. The mass flow rate of steam is given. So, in this feed water heater, there are two fluids, cold water and steam. Mass flow rate of steam is given 0 0.8 kg per second and its specific enthalpy 2380 kilojoule per kg denoted by H2. And these are called as specific volume, specific properties because they are based upon per kg mass. So, specific enthalpy kilojoule per kg. Then we have to find the mass flow rate of heated water. So, ultimately, I will say that. This mass flow rate of water, I am denoting it as m1, m.1. Similarly, the mass flow rate of steam, m.2. And finally, what we have to find out is the mass flow rate of heated water, which would be m.3. So, that is the question. Next. And its specific enthalpy. So, we have to find out the specific enthalpy as well. That I am denoting it as h3 for the heated water. And then... The heat loss to the surroundings is 10 kilojoule per second. So, the heat lost is given as 10 kilojoule per second. Since heat is lost, that would be denoted with a, with a negative sign. And minus 10 kilojoule per second, it is based upon time, which is denoted as Q dot. Since the value is based upon time, so it is denoted with a dot at the top. Or in other words, I can say that Q dot is equal to minus 10 kilowatts. And why negative? Because since heat is lost, whenever heat is added in thermodynamics, that is treated as positive and whenever heat is lost, that is denoted with a negative sign. Now, the feed water heater, I will explain in the solution. So, here there is a feed water heater and it is given in the problem it is of direct mixing type. So, at one end water enters the feed water heater and this water is entering with its mass flow rate as m.1 and specific enthalpy h1. At the same time in this direct mixing feed water heater steam is entering with a mass flow rate of m.2 and enthalpy h2 specific enthalpy when they are mixing that is water would be at a lower temperature and we can say with a lower enthalpy compared to steam so when they are mixing there is direct mixing so because of that the energy or the heat energy of the steam would be transferred to water and finally at the exit we are going to get water which would be at a much greater enthalpy and temperature
compared to the water at inlet because this is the cold water so ultimately at the outlet we are going to get water which would be hot water having its mass flow rate as m dot 3 and the enthalpy would be h3 so that is the direct mixing type of feed water heater basically used to heat the water by using steam which is comparatively at a higher enthalpy and temperature and at the inlet we are getting the cold water which enters the feed water heater so this would be state one for us here is state second and this would be state third so the question is we have to find out how much is the mass flow rate of the hot water which is leaving the feed water heater and its specific enthalpy so these are the questions and basically we can say feed water heater is nothing but a type of heat exchanger of direct mixing type if it was indirect mixing then in that case water and steam won't be mixing directly but water would be passing through a different pipeline steam through a different pipeline and then the heat transfer takes place so that is called as indirect method of heat transfer used in heat exchangers since they have mentioned it is direct type of heat, direct mixing type of heat exchanger so there is direct mixing between water and steam now i can say that from the energy balance from the energy balance and this is considered as an open system so this is the boundary of the system this is the boundary feed water heater is the system for us and whatever is external to the system is called as the surrounding and surrounding plus system is called as the universe now from the energy balance as we can see that mass is entering the system as well as mass is leaving the system so that is called as an open system along with the mass even there is energy transfer because in the question they have mentioned there is heat lost from this feed water heater so there is some amount of heat which is coming out or heat is lost from this feed water heater and that heat lost is minus 10 kilowatts from this system so we can see that energy is crossing the boundary heat energy is crossing the boundary at the same time mass is also crossing the boundary so that is called as an open system now from the energy balance i can say that the mass flow rate of water plus the mass flow rate of steam will be equal to the mass flow rate of the hot water which is leaving the system so from this m dot 1 is known to us that is 10 mass flow rate of water mass flow rate of steam is 0 0.8 so therefore m dot 3 will come out to be 10.8 kg per second after adding up the values so that's the first answer it means when we it is an open system there is an assumption that whatever is entering the system that is also leaving the system it means the energy which is leaving is the addition of the energy which is entering in other words whatever amount of mass is entering the system same amount of mass is leaving the system so the mass which is entering is m dot 1 and m dot 2 which is leaving is m dot 3 so m dot 3 has to be the addition of m dot 1 and m dot 2 that is the assumption in case of sfee now after getting the mass flow rate of hot water which is leaving I need to find its enthalpy so I can also say that from the same energy balance also from the same energy balance total energy the total energy entering the system is equal to the total energy leaving the system now the total energy which is entering the system is cold water along with with its enthalpy so m dot 1 into h1 plus steam having its mass flow rate along with its enthalpy so m dot 2 into h2 that is the energy which is entering the system and then the energy which is leaving the system 
is we can see the hot water and the heat which is going out so these are the energy which has go which are going out of the system so therefore we have m dot 3 into h3 plus q dot the energy which is leaving the system and here we can verify the units m dot is in terms of kg per second enthalpy is specific so kilojoule per kg based upon per kg mass kg and kg will get cancelled out so what remains is kilojoule per second and kilojoule per second is kilowatts so what is the unit of the heat transfer or the heat which is crossing the boundary same are the units of the remaining portion so the units are balanced we can directly put the values over here so i can say that therefore m dot 1 is known to us it is 10 kg per second h1 is 160 similarly m dot 2 is 0 0.8 and h2 is 2380 is equal to m dot 3 is known to us that is 10.8 h3 is the unknown and q dot it is negative that is minus 10 so on calculating this i am going to get the answer of h3 and my answer comes out to be it is 325.37 kilojoule per kg so that is the enthalpy of the water or we can say the hot water which is leaving the feed water heater it means there is increase in the heat content so there is an increase in the heat content of the water which is leaving the feed water heater so we can say that if there is a feed water heater of direct mixing type as given in the problem then when water and steam gets mixed the water which is leaving that is the hot water is leaving with a greater amount of enthalpy compared to their inlet values so in short that was a problem regarding the heat exchanger which was given as the direct mixing type of feed water heater and whatever the question was there we have found out both the values that is the mass flow rate of the water or hot water leaving the system as well as its enthalpy so that was the end of the problem based on sfe at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching